equation presented with non-ST elevation MI with uh, raised troponin levels. Uh, he's a diabetic and a hypertensive patient. We can clearly see that there is a tight blockage at this at this portion that is the osteoproximal region of the LAD and um, this blockage is about uh, between 70 to 80 percent and because the patient presented with uh, typical symptoms like uh, diffuse chest pain radiating to bilateral arms and the jaw and uh, that has increased uh, since the past 12 hours uh, we decided to stent this lesion also because the patient was already on uh, GDMT and uh, he was already on uh, full dose of antiplatelets uh, dual antiplatelets and uh, nitrates with uh, trimetazidine and still not uh, the pain was still not controlled so we decided that uh, this region needs to be addressed also because the troponin was raised and uh, the severity of the pain had increased so static the lesion was deemed necessary also you can see that uh, it was such a tight lesion that uh, patient had a slow flow in the LED so a much clearer picture of the extent of the LED lesion can be uh, seen here uh, the left main was short And uh, we were apprehensive uh, that uh, we should use a JL instead of a XB or knee view, but we decided against using JL because uh, in the LA caudal view, the LED was quite uh, tortuous and had an acute bend, and we would have uh, problems with the support if the JL was used, so we decided against it. Anyways, we used the XP system, uh, the Cordis XP 3.0, the XB 3.06F. The reason uh, I prefer the Cordis more than the launcher is probably because I think the inner diameter of the Cordis is much more, uh, not much more, but slightly more than the launcher, and uh, also because of a relatively straighter stem of the goddess uh, provides a little extra support than the launcher however I think uh, it comes down more to personal preference and either of them would have been correct so uh, a BMW PTC wire was used is the BMW PTC wire and uh, measuring the lesion is very important we opted for a direct uh, stenting technique the right place to put your stent is very important and uh, we wanted to nail the ostium sometimes it is very difficult to nail the ostium uh, but we wanted to avoid the left main because uh, the LCX was relatively uh, free of disease and even though the angle is very good there was still uh, the risk of pinching of the LCX and also because of future intervention that might have uh, might be needed in the LCX or maybe someplace else in the future so we decided against a left main strategy because the patient was relatively young just 55-60 years of age between 55 and 60 years of age and uh, so We inflated the stent. This is a febrolinus pregolutin stent, and uh, we inflated the stent at about uh, 12 mm atmospheric pressure. Uh, this is a 3.5 by 32 millimeter long stent. You can see it is well expanded, and we get a better flow now we 
use the stent balloon again and uh, we use the stent balloon to inflate the stent again at uh, 14 atmospheric pressure for, we generally inflate the stent uh, for about 20 to 30 seconds each time good flow has been achieved and you can see that uh, the stent has opened very well the distal segment did need some pole dilatation and we pole dilated the stent This is a 3.75 mm balloon and um, we used a stand boost to see. So we are using it to the 3.75 mm NC balloon to pull the lid the stand. generally stent uh, we generally pose dilate for uh, 20 to 30 seconds each time and uh, you can see that we are pose dilating it quite aggressively after pose dilatation the uh, artery has opened up quite well and uh, we are quite happy with the result Timmy 3 flow has been achieved. The slow flow that was initially seen has resolved, and uh, I think uh, we were able to achieve quite good results. And uh, the patient is pain free, and will be discharged uh, quite soon, maybe tomorrow. So this was the initial uh, angiogram. You can see that uh, there's a tight lesion here. Sometimes the tight lesion <laughs> uh, actually, uh, you know, you start acknowledging the tight lesion only after the artery has been opened. And you can see a very slow flow in the LED here because of the tight lesion. There's a 70-80% tight lesion. There's also plaquing here. Uh, the plaquing is up till here somewhere here so we decided to stent the whole segment and uh, this is the final result wonderful flow good artery